military, not the guard. We're calling up the military. And we're going to have the military station. They're not coming into this country. They might as well turn back. They're not coming into this country. That is President Trump talking about the uh, caravan of more than a thousand migrants that are uh, moving up through Mexico. They're moving towards the U.S. border after illegally crossing into Mexico from Guatemala. Mexican officials have warned that the migrants should apply for asylum in order to stay in Mexico. And many of the asylum seekers uh, have feared that they would be deported if they voluntarily went to a shelter or an immigration camp. Uh, ABC News national correspondent Matt Gutman is embedded in the caravan. Good morning, Matt Gutman. Hey, good morning. So tell us why. Why are these 7,000 moving up from Guatemala? What's going on? You know, I don't even know how many there are. We've been with them for the past, you know, I don't know, 30 hours or so. Uh, there are definitely thousands. Um, we, we don't actually know what their plan is today, and the Mexican government doesn't know what its plan is today. Uh, we've been told that the federal police have not yet received orders on whether to block these people, to stop them here in Live from studio. about 20 miles from from the border or to let them keep going. So massive question marks hanging over this caravan today. Why are they leaving Guatemala in the first place? They're leaving. They left Guatemala, but they're mostly from Honduras. They're leaving because, you know, I talked to this woman, Blanca, who had her three kids in tow, and her husband was killed by the gangs, and she was worried that they would target her and her family next. Other people are leaving because they just want a better life. You know, there's incredible poverty in these countries, very little opportunity. And even Mexico offers more opportunity than, um, than Honduras. Many hope to be able to get to the U.S. Some have family members there. And uh, by and large, they're just seeking something better than the horror that they've been through. And interestingly, they've endured some really horrific conditions here, which have been surprising to me. You know, walking 20 miles in the heat, people literally passing out um, was remarkable to watch. And then sleeping on the concrete floor here, uh, and in the streets overnight, it's not easy. So whatever they left behind has to be worse, they're telling us, than what lies ahead. Uh, why are they not going into a shelter or asking for some type of asylum? Such a great question. They think, and, and some, the vast majority have uh, continued on illegally in Mexico. They think that it's... Guys, he's got to go after this, okay? ...to deport them. They basically have accused the Mexican government of being the lackey of the U.S. government and President Trump. And that's why they're saying, hey, you know, we don't believe that you're actually going to grant this asylum. We think you're going to try to send us back to Honduras. Um, also, they're realizing that there is incredible strength in numbers. And they've been walking down the center of the major highway here, uh, you know, for a whole day. And Mexican authorities you know, set up and deployed to block them and then pulled back and set up again to block them and then pulled back. And they're basically walking right past um, federal police and immigration officials. Matt Gutman, ABC News chief national correspondent in Mexico with, with the caravan. Matt, be safe. Thanks for checking in. Six 